really got to rebind that key. Hey everybody, Bormac here for Neverwinter Nights, and we are leaving that stupid forest glade with our annoying elf companion in tow. I don't see how going there was any faster than going along the road, but... <coughs> Whatever, I'm just looking at the map. Uh, so. So, now we make it to High Cliff, finally. We're gonna see a little cutscene. You're risking your entire ship by going out there, Captain. Ignore me if you will, but at least listen to your own men. We're leaving port right now. Nothing's stopping this shipment to Neverwinter, especially not a pack of lizard folk. What are you lot just standing there for? Bring up the sails! Man the oars! The fool is risking a ship worth ten times the cargo he's carrying. And for what? For the sake of a few extra gold for an early delivery. His loss. I'm responsible for making sure ships get in and out of this harbor safely. Every ship that sinks hurts my reputation. My fault or not. Uh, sailing the seas is always risky. But he's trying to set sail when we've got lizard folk going out of their way to sink every boat coming out of this village. A good captain is a fool to think he can sail out without drawing the attention of the lizards. Harbor Master! Out there! Looks like the lizard folk have themselves another victim! Boy, that is a shoddily built boat. Where the lizard men are boiling the sea around them. It really looks like a model boat sinking. There's nobody on the deck. <laughs> and I think we've all learned a lesson here. If I say it's too dangerous to sail, it's too dangerous to sail. All right, lads, see what we can do to help those sailors. Let's just hope the lizard folk let them swim ashore. Sorry, but I've got my hands full here. Some of the other sailors should be able to fill you in. Oh, straight top-down perspective. What were you doing over there, Bartholomew? And there are the sailors. Whatever. Ah! Won't let me use the mouse to move. How do you turn around in this? You gotta press the Q and... E? Give me a break. I don't like these other camera modes. I've never found a use for strategy or character mode. Oh wait, there's a thing that's gonna happen up here. Traveling circus? Easy, one of them's a harborman. Harborman, like I care what a swamp farmer can do. Sounds to me like there's the makings of a joke in he you for. A dwarf, a tree worshipper, a demon, and a swamp tra smelling harborman walk into a tavern. I didn't, but it seems to me someone's about to go flying out. These are the men are in bad need of a lesson. Health modes gain two. Yeah, that's right. Uh, no one cares what you think, Elena. You are a jerk. Things are slowing down a bit before we came. Now it's just about back to normal. These guys really don't stand a chance. That was a fine bit of sport, wasn't it? Taught them not to cross us again. Watch their mouths next time. If I next time, rein it in. It's hard to steal from someone when you're about to going to attack them. Done making enemies, let's move on. Moving on sounds like a plan. <laughs> Elor wants to get into more fights. Oh, there's those people we helped in the... 
Oh yeah, he went into his little rage move, and now he's out of it and fatigued. Edario, need armor? Please let me know, I'm the only armor in High Cliffs, so uh, if you be needing anything, there's nowhere else to go. You don't sound too happy about that, isn't the lack of competition a good thing? There isn't much call for my work in a small town like this. Why don't you go to a bigger city, then? Steady customers. Alright, can't afford it. Gotcha. Um, Goblin Shield of Noblish. Hmm. Armor bonus versus Goblinoid. He's got nothing but armor, and really not that impressive of a selection of armor. Journal. Okay, we can get that. Now we're just trying to figure out what we have to do here. Uh, just answered our prayers. You should probably don't remember. You saved my life back in the Weeping Willow. Actually, you guys, it's impossible for you to die in the Weeping Willow, but whatever. Uh, what are you guys doing here? This is our home. We were returning from the visit. One of Zetshun's relatives in West Harbor when you arrived at the inn. You don't wish to impose, we could use your help again. We have some money. I'm listening. Our son Andrew ran off to the old High Cliff Castle ruins with one of his friends. They were forbidden to leave the village, but they slipped away without us noticing. It's hard to keep an eye on them all the time with all the troubles about. And they haven't returned? No, it's been days. We asked the village elder to send some men to look for them, but he refuses to risk anyone searching for them in the High Cliff. It's danger! Judy's husband disappearing up at the ruins as well. The elder has become too cautious. You're hoping another such as you would be able to help us. Maybe too late, but I'll see what I can do. I'll return when I found them. Oh, then we're going that way anyway, Nishika. Made up my mind, alright. I wasn't threatening, yep, but I gained influence with any dog on it. I don't want any influence with this elf. Stupid elves. <laughs> All right, now this place is our next stop. I know how to get through High Cliff, no problem. I've done this a few times. Seems to be a problem. Noise is coming from inside my house. It must be thieves. I'd like a reward if I do this. Bunch of potions. Deal. Let's go in. Fragile, valuable things in there. I'll try to be careful with my lightning, then. I could just let Kelgar handle everything. Hey, guys. Quiet, you fools. You'd be making too much noise. Shove off, no, Lully. No, recall... No one putting you in charge here. Shove off! Shove off! Taste my steel! Dog. I'm not afraid of... It's the militia! We're hanged men for sure. We can jump in the sea, no one's the wiser. Go! That's a lot of dudes. Let's see, what can I do here? I need to get about out here. Have some barbarian rage, guys. Magic missile! Whoosh. I'm being killed. Oh, she killed him. Sailors is in the process of looting the home, and you entered a fortune for them. They chose to attack you, and were wiped out to the last man. 
Oh, I didn't really have a choice of sparing them. They just up and attacked. I guess I'll take that. I'd be able to sell it. Stuff can be made out of different materials, and it has different abilities. Alchemical silver is bonus against shapeshifters. Especially werewolves. Not that we're going to run into many of those. Yes. I bet it does. Everybody, follow me. <laughs> wow, you actually failed that. You rolled a one, Ashika. Give me a break. Two ones in a row. There, you rolled a friggin' eleven, finally. I'm ready if you need me. Ring of resistance plus one. That's bonus to saving throws, that's right. Yes. There you go. Yes. And an orange light for some reason. Oh, hey, a cabinet. That's locked, despite How being wide open. Maybe it's a drawer. I'm ready if you need me. Take that and that. Yep, everything's fine. Didn't take nothing. We're all good here. Oh, sigh. Man, it is late in the day for me to be doing this. I overslept a good deal. Uh, they weren't in the mood to surrender. Cure serious wounds. Ooh, haste, bears endurance, cure serious wounds. Gotta help alchemists out more often. Oh, I should probably take a breather here. Now we're good. Another cutscene. I don't know why this guy's always injured, but whatever. So I'm doing the best that I can, but we can't risk exploring the ruins at this time. But where else could he have gone? You must do something! Yeah, what would you have me do? Sacrifice the entire village of safety for just your husband? You are to blame if he comes to any harm. I will not have my child growing up without her father. Stand her anger, but it would be tragic if he were hurt or worse. But she must understand that we have to put the safety of the village first. I just want to put book passage on a boat. Impossible right now. Everyone on our ship has been... Our ships has been damaged and under safe for the sea at the moment. Each time we made repairs, the delivermen promptly damaged the ships again. Trade with everyone is stopped, and without trade, this village will not have an easy winter. Is there the double eagle to leave? I don't know why I mentioned the double eagle specifically, but whatever. How do I stop these attacks? I'll look into this stupid thing for you. But just been insulted. I mean, as an insulted fact, I assume that you're all quite remarkable individuals not to be past the typical purchases and bend together. Mm, if you won't object, we'll look into things. I know that that's taken care of soon enough. One farmer left is Chandra. She's too stubborn to leave her home even with the attacks. Search with her, she may know something that could help. Or you or you could simply wait there and ambush the lizard folk that should they attack. Allow me to mark the location on the farm on your map. Yep. Had to talk to him. Hey, a drunk sailor. Do you want to fight? Hello. Hello. I don't know. How is she? You're the one. Are you captain of the double eagle? That's, if 
father said you could help me get the Neverwinter. Farm in that swamp village, is he? I'd be happy to help grant you passage, but as you can see, we're stuck here for now. New ships in or out of high cliffs on account of the attacks, which means I've got a shipload of cargo rotting on the docks until this mess is sorted out. Those merchants in Neverwinter will have me hanging from the gallows if I can't get my cargo there soon. How do you know my father? Adventures together for a while, you know, crawling around in dark tunnels, getting clawed and bitten just for a bit of gold. It was good to have around, kept calm under the worst conditions, and always had your back in a fight. Being punctured by nasties trying to keep us out of their lairs, I had enough gold saved up, got into the shipping business. It's like my father had an exciting life. If you don't mind getting poked, stabbed, and shot at, he's bad. Had my fill of running for my life, now I get stuck in a village like everyone else. Alright, well, time to go north. One more person to talk to. Is anyone really surprised that Dagon is a former adventurer? I'm not. Alright, well, it's heard about your, advent your adventurers, I take it. Who are you? Close off. Uh, it's an odd name, but it was the one given to me, so so I'm rather attached to it. But enough about that, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind helping me out with a small problem. Is there a reward involved? Could arrange something. Does this mean you'll help me? Oh, what do you need? I was hired by a group of adventurers to show them the area around Highcliff, help them get their bearings, as it were. Got a bit dangerous, but they offered more gold than I'd seen ten seasons working the fields. I'd have been stupid to say no. What went wrong? My employers only paid me half of what they owed me before they went off to explore some ruined castle north of here. I promised the rest when they got back. It's over a week ago since your adventures too. I was hoping you might be willing to go out there and find them for me. If I do, I want half of whatever they owed you for myself. Done. Getting half of what I own owed is better than nothing at all. True enough. True enough. Do the transition. Ah, water. To the farm first. Because that's the only place we can go. I do believe Shandrush tells you where the castle is. Hmm. Looks like this is the place. But where's... Who are you? Did Maine send you? Whoever you are, you look a little too important to be wandering out here on your own, bothering with the common folk. I'll say. We've gone too far out of our way already. Not too far for a fight, I hope. Maybe you all better tell me what you're doing here. There's been too many visitors lately, and I really don't have the patience for it anymore. Uh... You, Shandra. Yes, but that doesn't tell me what you're doing here. Eh, that. Good. Glad to see the Elder finally got wise enough to protect the grain shipments into Highcliff before winter hits. I've been alone out here ever since the others abandoned their farms and took shelter in Highcliff, and I don't know how much longer I can hold out. You think I'm brave to stay here? Foolish is more like it. I'm supposed to be making the merchant run through Port Last and Ember right now. But with the recent troubles, I can't leave the farm, let alone take the trade road from Highcliff. I can't even move my harvest into town. And if I can't sell it, I won't make it through the year, not to mention the towns counting on the trade. I have friends in Ember and Port Last expecting shipments this season. Sucks. Merchant road out of Highcliff is blocked. It's worse than that. I don't know if it's more lizard folk, but no one's come back along that road for a while now. Merchants who take it just vanish, wagons and all. It happens so suddenly and quietly, and the bodies are never found. If you take the road, it's the last journey you'll make. The whole village, and even as far south as Fort Locke, is being cut off. If it keeps up, we'll starve, or worse. Uh, have you been attacked? Not yet. But it's only a matter of time. No one's been killed, luckily enough. Mostly buildings and houses have been burned, but no deaths. That's strange.